Hey there, you're watching this video because you're probably wondering how much it costs to get from here to here. But first, a little trivia. What do these three things have in common? A iPhone 6 Plus, a quad-core budget PC, and a 36-pack of condoms from Venezuela. Well, they all cost $750. That's right. And you can expect to pay that same amount per month in your first year of riding a motorcycle in Ontario, Canada anyway. How's it going people? Brown Brady here and in this episode I'm going to talk about the costs associated in your first year of riding your motorcycle. So how did I arrive at that figure? Let's break it down. The first cost is obviously your license. In Ontario, Canada this is $74 and that includes the knowledge test, your 90-day M1 license and the M2 road test. In Ontario, the only required gear is a helmet, and a good helmet should cost you around $150. However, I also recommend that you get a riding jacket, a pair of riding gloves, and a pair of riding boots. All in all, it should cost you around $500. Although optional, taking a motorcycle safety course is extremely recommended. There are just too many lessons better learned in a controlled environment than out in the streets. There could also be potential savings for new riders who have completed a motorcycle safety course. Riders Training Institute or RTI charges $420 for their basic course. Your largest one-time cost is most likely going to be your motorcycle. But if you're like me, I just picked out a CBR250 and it only cost me $3,000 plus the registration fee. Depending on your age, your driving history and the type of motorcycle, your insurance costs could vary wildly. In my case, with my CBR250, my insurance cost was around $724 a year, and this was through TD Insurance. I'm in no way affiliated with TD Insurance, and they're not paying me to endorse them. But having said that, if TD Insurance is watching, my email address is brownbrady at deer-creek.ca. The advantage of buying a small displacement engine like the CBR250 is that it only costs me around $10 a week to fuel it. This is about $340 a year. You could spend the same amount per month on a small sedan. Maintenance costs are minimal and are associated to winterizing or dewinterizing the bike. This includes an oil change, air filter inspection or replacement, and chain cleaning, which is probably around $100. Modifications are optional, but you will most likely do it anyway. So let's say you modify the exhaust, the fender, and lights. This would cost you around $800. So to sum it up, you're going to need a license for $74, riding gear for $500, motorcycle safety course for $420, motorcycle for $3,000, registration for $42, insurance for $724, fuel and maintenance for $440, and modifications for $800, which is a grand total of $6,000. And since you are only riding for eight months out of the year, that is an average of $750 a month. If you can survive the streets for just one year, year two promises to be more affordable because most of your one-time costs are gone. So if you are planning on getting from here to here, start saving up for it this year, and you'll be ready by next year. Perhaps you can forego the temptation of buying stuff or plan to be more frugal. And that about concludes this episode. If you like this video, please hit that like button or better yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. As always, ride safe and thanks for watching. This includes the M1 in Ontario, Canada. You look like a bobblehead.